This week, the FAA announced it has referred dozens of cases of unruly passengers to the FBI for possible prosecution. Officials say between January of 2021 and this past Tuesday, 80 incidents were sent to the FBI. And 43 of those cases from this year, the new numbers come as Delta Airlines is asking the Justice Department to add unruly passengers to the federal no fly list. Joining us now to give us some insight into the situation is our News for Jacks aviation expert Ed Booth. Ed, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Corley. First of all, what are the possible punishments unruly passengers can face? Uh, time in federal prison and severe monetary fines. In the past, the FAA has handled most of these incidents internally, and their authority is limited to the imposition of civil penalties. With the FBI getting involved, they will bring in an appropriate U.S. Attorney's Office, criminally prosecute these passengers, and uh, likely impose uh, prison sentences upwards of uh, one year to as uh, much as 15 years, depending on the severity of the behavior. And what is the debate over adding these unruly passengers to the no-fly list? Uh, believe it or not, there's a lot of pushback from Congress. The purpose of the no-fly list when it was established around 2002 was to track terrorists. And Congress thus far thinks it would be inappropriate to put uh, misbehaving U.S. citizens in the same company of potential terrorists. So there needs to be some solution, but adding them to the no-fly list doesn't seem probable at this time. And I know some of the back and forth with this is that, you know, some of the charges vary. There's some people that might have been arrested or, you know, told to get off the plane because they drank too much on the plane. But then there's obviously those people that have been physical towards flight attendants. So do you think that that's going to come in play? The differences like the severity of each case will depend on the different charges or the well, whether, it's whether it's referred to the FBI in the first place will depend upon the severity. If you beat up a flight attendant, try to open the airplane's door in flight, try to enter the cockpit. Those are offenses that will likely lead to prosecution in the future. I might add that each airline has their own internal no-fly list, but they do not share this information with each other, likely for fear of being sued for defamation. It's one thing for Delta to say, we won't sell you a ticket, but if they tell another airline, don't carry this person, it could cause problems for them. Why do you think we're seeing so many more cases of unruly passengers? Uh, my opinion is one of the problems is serving alcohol on airplanes. This is a practice that uh, stopped for a time, and it's simply not reasonable to expect flight attendants who are critical, required crew members tasked with ensuring the safety of the passengers to be put in the position of essentially being bartenders in determining when someone has had too much to drink, because I believe a number of these severe incidents are precipitated by the flight attendants cutting the person's alcohol supply off. And I've, I have noticed some airlines, I think Southwest and some others have uh, not decided not to serve alcohol on their flights, especially during the pandemic, you know, trying to maintain uh, sanitization and not mixing drinks and things like that. So that will definitely be entering, interesting to see if any more airlines choose to go with no alcohol on their flights. Another thing, too, that a lot of people you know, some aren't okay with the mask, wearing the mask. That has caused some unruly passengers, some arguments with flight attendants on planes too. I've noticed that. Well, when you're in an airport uh, or on an airplane, you're under federal jurisdiction and the federal government can determine whether or not you wear a mask. The state of Florida really has no authority to uh, say yes or no as far as mask wearing when it comes to aviation and airplanes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ed Booth, for joining us this morning. This is all such great insight. Good to see you, Corley.